Do you believe the Holocaust happened? That six million Jews were slaughtered? Look, historical events should be investigated by researchers and historians. There are some signs that it happened. If so, they should allow it to be investigated and researched. So you're not sure? I'm getting that. You're not sure. What about Israel's right to exist? You see, the people of Palestine are the reality. This is the right of the people of Palestine who are forced to leave their houses and motherland. The Americans are supporting this false regime there to take root and be established there. Not a ton of pushback from <laughs> Leslie Stahl there. Uh, what do you make of the Iranian president's remarks? So I, I think that is utterly disgraceful on multiple levels. Uh, let's start off. Raisi is a mass murderer and a terrorist. He is directly responsible for an enormous number of murders, of tortures. He has been one of the most repressive figures in this horrific regime for years. He was appointed by the Ayatollah to that position despite a horrific record of human rights abuses. Number two, he was allowed by the Biden administration to come to the United States, come to New York, to the United Nations. He should not have been. I've introduced legislation to block him from coming. We should not be allowing terrorists and mass murderers into the United States. But the Biden administration, every enemy of a world, every enemy of America, they treat with weakness and appeasement. And this is yet another example. Number three, it's particularly horrifying, this interview right now. Uh, in recent days, the world was was stunned with the news that a, a 22-year-old Iranian woman was captured by the religious police in Iran and was beaten to death for the crime of not wearing a headscarf. She dared to go outside and she wasn't covering her face the way the Islamic radicals insist. And the religious police arrested her and beat her her to death. Within hours of that happening, an American journalist on CBS, Leslie Stahl, is sitting there compliantly bleeding like a sheep, wearing a headscarf. That's disgusting. Did she ask about what happened? No. And then the final bit, to end with Raisi engaging in Holocaust denial. Well, historians should debate and examine to see if there's evidence. The Holocaust is one of, if not the most horrific event in all of human history. The systematic extermination of six million Jews and attempted genocide. You don't think there's evidence? Go, go to Auschwitz. Go, go, go to the concentration camp. Read the diary of Anne Frank. Examine the, the, the horror and to see CBS, oh, okay, well, that's that's of you, yeah, <laughs> oh, okay, and, and to, see, to, to sit there while this monster spews anti-Semitic filth on CBS, there are not words to describe the abdication of responsibility Leslie Stahl should be ashamed and CBS should be ashamed that they're willing to kiss up to a monster and a tyrant 